Look, you've confirmed a lot of the stereotypes. I'm glad. You have a, a victim mindset. Thank you. And quite frankly, you're very rude and rambunctious and Thank disrespectful. You. Thank you. And you've confirmed a lot of the stereotypes that have haunted black women for decades in Thank America. You. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Inspector Gazy Music! Ever since the No Food Gazy exposure happened, a lot of guys have been in the comment section saying many different things. Some folks are supporting him, some folks are bashing him, but this comment is the most telling. And it comes from Lou8853. He's a Myron from Fresh and Fit clone. He uses every last one of his talking points. Nothing original. Now, I couldn't prove this until I had to do my research. And here's what I found. Rewind! I took some time really going through this guy's channel. And before I went to his channel uh, to compare him to Myron or Fresh and Fit, I noticed some similarities. Him and Myron feel the same way about black women. They are not attracted to them. At least if they are attracted to them, they don't date them. The no food gazy guy, Chris Cooley, uh, is all in on white women and Myron is all in on everything but black women, all right? So that's point number one. Number two, both of them have self-help podcasts. And so in order to get the views up, what they do is they bring people who are very hostile. For an example, if you have a podcast with people that are just like you, it's not really clippable. You can't really do what they call clip farming. And you can't really take out parts of the podcast and kind of you know put them out there. In the Red Pill community, everything has been really discussed. So you need some entertainment and controversy to basically put this out. So what's the best way to do it? Well, you have to invite guests that you're really not attracted to and that you can make fun of. I don't care if it's extreme feminists, if it's BBWs, if it's atheists, you gotta have these people so you can get explosive arguments. And what both Cooley will do, which is the guy from the No Fugazi podcast, and Myron will do, they will bring black women on, hoping that these black women will basically go berserk and they will trigger these black women into becoming berserk, especially Myron. Chris Cooley, not so much so, but Myron, definitely. Both of these guys will do this. And we have an example of Myron doing it right here. Look, you've confirmed a lot of the stereotypes. I'm glad. You have a, a victim mindset. Thank you. And quite frankly, you're very rude and rambunctious and Thank disrespectful. You. Thank you. And you've confirmed a lot of the stereotypes that have haunted black women for decades in Thank America. You. Yeah. Thank you literally you. have a perpetual victim mindset. You don't take accountability for your actions. Thank Everything you. is you guys, you guys, you guys, instead of you taking accountability for being So for rude. every action there's not a reaction? See, who controls the reaction though? I sure do. Okay. Thank you. So you're choosing so to react me, the way that you so do. So by me explaining both parts, including mine, that's me taking a victim mindset? Aww. Yes. Or is this you being biased Aww. towards black See, people? because so as you can see here, there's a lady who is, you know, basically becoming hostile simply because Myron is hostile. I mean, Myron does this all the time with women, regardless of the, the, the ethnicity, but he always makes it racial. He always makes it problematic and to the point where you're going to get kicked out, right? And you're ugly. You're all of this. And you're going to see this behavior manifest when it actually escalates. Because so I could play like you. I can say Aww. that you're you stupid. Can't play like and you've been extremely rude, and I can <laughs> elevate. And now I can call you a stupid little d annoying. who's a it's black annoying. woman who thinks she's white and is going to make hate her kids as listen, well listen. because you're a f demon. Listen, since she want to go to war with you them. Get the fuck out of here, you fat. Because I can match your energy with you. Okay, so now if you were to watch Chris Cooley of the No Food Gazy podcast, he's a little bit more mild mannered. Uh, he's not going so hard in the paint. But if you really look at his titles, he's being disrespectful to the ladies. Like this clip here is called Cooley kicks out Big John from the Animal Channel. Now let me just say this, all right? This lady happens to be black. He's not giving um, any race to the lady, but he's calling her a Big John or, you know, that's a kind of a Philadelphia East Coast thing. You know, John could be anything. It could be, you know, a woman, it could be, 
something else. So this big lady from the animal channel. So all of a sudden she's from the animal channel. Basically she's not even human. Okay. That's a title. This is something very similar that Myron would do on Fresh and Fit. However, let's play it out and see what happens. I don't know if you want little people. Did and I I'm the one to today. belittle he you first. He didn't belittle Who did you, I belittle though? today? He didn't disrespect you. No, I'm just you. saying. I it watch a like lot of your podcasts. I'm just right saying. Now. I'm not very emotional at all. You don't see yeah. these tears. I mean, well, it seems like you're being emotional. My lashes still intact. Make you feel good, <laughs> baby. And I'm mad. <laughs> I got you. So, uh... Y'all got my veneers? Nay, here's how it's gonna go. Being hibachi. I got you. Here, here's how it's gonna go, right? Talk when I'm speaking, shit, now this is gonna be a little bit disrespectful Go because you've been disrespectful. Girl. When I'm speaking, I got shut up. Out here. I got That's totally here. fine. All right, when, when I'm, I'm speaking, speaking the same, up. the same, the same. Got, shut got up. it, got it. You're, you just submitted that. Don't invite nobody your on man, your podcast. You, you just submitted that your ahead, man. Talk that man that your father is that man no he is that man no he is your he, man he isn't that man you just submitted that care of. i don't have to you cheat just with him that. to go totally with other fine. men a female is different you he don't got a vagina i like human beings to explore things, your baby. sexuality if you can't handle and it's that it's not only for your man that's on you <laughs> you can't handle you that you sound with your crazy female. right now no, 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 not at all. I feel sorry but for whoever listen, you date because, uh, baby, we, I could never be trapped we, in the we, box. We actually like going to end this. You, you like up out of here. It's time for you to go. I ain't going to So basically, you, you, you see the lady doesn't want to leave. And he's like, call the cops. Okay? This is a live stream. And the same thing that Myron does. They, these guys live stream. So they're doing a live. But listen, listen to this, though. Why would you bring somebody onto your podcast that you feel is going to be so hostile so rude that they're going to be kicked out. Let me tell you something. On my other channel, Ken Ganda, I have the Repat podcast, okay? And uh, we have guests coming from all over uh, the world that have come onto my podcast. LER Movement's been on here. Um, Austin Holloman's been here. JR Wisdom's come to see me here. I've never once ever gotten close to kicking somebody out of the house, um, out of my podcast, people who disagree with me, because that's not what the platform is for. And the only reason why Cooley, AKA No Fugazi Podcast, is even doing that because he saw Myron doing it. The thing is, Chris Cooley's always been a simp, all right? And that's something that we just gotta understand. He's never been a guy that had any game uh, because if he did, he would offer something new to the game that we haven't heard before. I'm gonna tell you somebody who actually had game. Simple the P, okay? Simple the P had so much game I remember Steve the Dean was like, yo, man, that guy is top of the food chain. Like, I've been in the dating coach, you know, business for a long time. Yo, man, no one can touch that guy. That guy is top of the food chain. It's him, and then there's the rest of us who sell courses and everything else. So Simple the P was bringing something new in the content creation community that a lot of guys had never heard before. Like, because, you know, pimps are basically guys who have a different perspective on women than most guys do. So Cooley is not a guy that has those experiences. He's a guy that stole all of his stuff the whole style, the tiling of his videos, kicking chicks out of the podcast. He just does it at a lesser you know, level with no investment as Myron does. He doesn't spend as much money as Myron does. He's just not as good as a business person, but he stole the whole thing, flat out stole the whole thing, stole the talking points. He just positioned it a little bit I would say more, uh, you know, adjustable or digestible for guys. And he, you know, he speaks very well, but the guy stole everything. It, even the kick out part, the whole idea for him to get viral was, listen, we're going to get these chicks here that don't agree with me and kick them out of my house. Just like Myron kicks them out. Like you never saw people getting kicked out of podcasts before until Fresh and Fit started doing it. Never saw it. Want to know why? Because people don't start podcasts for that to happen or to start podcast to dehumanize people. Look at the fact that like Joe Rogan, Joe Rogan has the largest podcast, one of the biggest ones on, on the planet. Joe Rogan doesn't bring people to kick them out of the podcast. He brings people into the podcast to add value to whatever topic he's talking about. That's why Joe Rogan is there. So Cooley is again, participating in fraudulent endeavors. So guys, what do you think it's your boy? O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out. <laughs>